They were just doing some um, weights and cleaning today, so uh, I figured I'd shoot a little video. This is my original radar right here. Coming in at 58 grams. This one was laid on uh, December 3rd. We're now um, a good bit through July. I think it's the 18th today. So, around 8 months old. Looking pretty good. Not too, not too chunky. Um, a little on the heavy side, but um, still some nice athletic look to it. No, no bulging behind the uh, armpit or in the armpits or anything like that. This right here is Smiley. Still got that cool Smiley face pattern on his back. I'm sorry, her back. Um. This one was temperature sex as a male, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm as positive at this point it's a female. And pretty cool snake eyes. This is the sibling to the other one, but um, we had to cut her back a little bit on on food. Um, this thing would just eat and eat and eat, so um, I don't leave a dish in there with her anymore. Um, and if I do, I don't put much in there. I, I basically uh, m most of these are feeding right out of my hand, right off the tongues, and some of them actually out of my hand. So um, it's real easy to keep track of what they're taking in. But she's escaping on me, so I'm going to put her away. Here's another snake eye radar. She um, lost some of the pigment, faded away or whatever, but um, she's held a little bit throughout her whole life. She was born with only one spot of pattern on her back, and that's why we call her Spot. And then the rest of us filled in afterwards. This one was actually born after both of those two, but um, obviously it's bigger than the one by two grams. And uh, she's just long in general, a long body gecko. And in case you're wondering, we, I, I am zeroing out the scale um, in between each clip just to make sure it's accurate. This is another one here that was born with um, eye pigmentation, you know, but uh, it did fade away also. Both uh, her and her clutch mate showed some pretty crazy eyes in the beginning, but there's not much left of it. I, I did hold on to her to prove her out. And I just like her. She's just got a totally different hue of uh, purple than the rest of them. This is another one that I actually hand feed now. Um, I mean, she, they seem to love them. And uh, like I said, it's a way easier way to monitor what they're taking in. But she's still a little overweight, I would say. This one was hatched. Um, She was hatched February 27th, and um, the last one prior to her was hatched on, uh, you know, over a month before her it was January 8th, so she's definitely on the heavy side. They really love their super worms. It's another one of my um, pretty cool babies, we're definitely holding this one back. 41. It's got some carroting in the tail and a pretty nice stripe. It's only broken up a little bit at the bottom, but um, I really like how the stripes fill in with um, a lot of tangerine. And I just like, I really like the bold markings on these. This right here is one of my first stripe radars. I keep saying that uh, she has solid red eyes, but she absolutely doesn't. She's um, snake eyes on both sides. This is one of the first ones I ever hatched that has a clean stripe all the way down. She hatched out, um, I believe, March 11th. So um, she's doing really well. She's 33 grams right now. And I just checked her, she's still looking female, actually, that first stripe that I pulled out, the, um, 
The one that's just had for Eclipse uh, is a male most likely. It's looking like it's starting to develop some bulges. So. Fortunately this one and uh, all my radar so far are looking, male, or looking female, I'm sorry. It's another one of my um, non-radar holdbacks. She's got a real nice stripe. Always had a real nice bold head markings. And I really like that um, she's still retaining a lot of color in the stripe. She's at uh, 48 grams. This was um, a baby from my one banded female. So go figure with the stripes. But um, she's a real long body gecko and she's pretty heavy. I mean she's the biggest gecko I have and all her babies seem to um, be, well for the most part most of her babies are just like her. This is Lucy, my other stripe radar. I was so happy to get the first one, and then when this one hatched out, I just couldn't believe I even got that lucky. She's weighing 31 grams, which is awesome. It's actually pretty big for her age. She's definitely not digging the light, though. I'll try to get a nice shot of her head. She does have a pretty cool head pattern. But she does want to show it off today. There we go. This one here is one of my favorites to take out. Um, these guys, uh, all this whole bunch of them at the show, they don't really seem to be bothered by the light very much. I mean, as you can see, its eyes are wide open. It's weighing 32 grams, which is perfect for um this thing's age. This one's actually only a couple days apart from that last monster, which just goes to show you um, this was a you know a different mother hatched this one out or laid this thing so definitely a major difference size wise this one is available and it's still looking female so uh, check out the Morph Magic page um, you can always message me if uh, you see anything you like now this is one of my favorite banded babies I've had all year the um, head markings are just super bold and definitely a lot of tangerine influence if you can't tell. I don't have a ton of light in here, but um and natural light these ones look really really nice. And this one's also available. I I'm gonna check um her afterwards. I believe it was temperature sex to be a female, but uh, I, I didn't check when I just pulled her out. As soon as I cut the camera, I'll, um, I'll check her real quick. That last one is still looking female. This one, on the other hand, looks like uh, possibly a male. He's only 26 grams. These all hatch not far apart. This one actually didn't look nearly as, as nice as it does now. Um, didn't really show a whole lot of bright tangerine in the beginning, but it's definitely starting to look a lot nicer. She's a little bit spooked right now, but um, this is Sunshine. Without a doubt, one of my favorites. Still holding some of that red outlining around her pattern, which is so cool. I thought by now that would have faded away. She's 26 grams, like I said before, she's got solid red eyes. Very, very cool head. A lot of tangerine in her head and legs. And just an awesome, crazy jungle pattern. This is Thor's, another house favorite. Another pretty cool jungle. With the hammer on his back. He actually outweighs uh, Sunshine. He's another one that'll take super worms right out of my hand basically anytime. Small supers with these little guys, but they still um, they eat them right up. This is uh, one half of the last mystery pair. If you haven't been following, they were from a um, 
blizzard mother that I didn't really have any genetic info on. So they're basically uh, pet quality geckos. Very cool. They were super feisty when they were younger, but um, both of them have tamed out big time. These guys are actually seem a lot smarter than some of the others. They're always uh, checking everything out. You can just tell they have a totally different attitude. Always very cautious. But they both walk right out into my hand. Both of them eat right out of my hand. They're pretty cool. Just um, not really um, for breeding purposes, that's all. And they are free um, to anybody local. These would have to be picked up. Or if you're um, purchasing a gecko, I, I could uh, you know, deliver them with the, the other gecko. They were um, temperature sex female. I'm not sure. Uh, they're probably both a little too young to know for sure. Um, as of right now, it's still looking female. So, uh, I'm not going to pull the other one out. It's in the shed box, but uh, the other one's about the same size, so around roughly 24 grams. And like I said, um, you can contact me through Facebook is the best way. So just go on to the Morph Magic page if you're anywhere local or in PA, Drexel Hill, PA. So, um, like I said, these guys are giveaways, so just hit me up if you're interested. This right here is one half of the Tiny Brothers. They're both um, obviously temperature sex males. If I can get them to let go, I'll give you a weight. It's 14 grams. Both of them are born um, about a gram, maybe a little bit less than a gram. Neither one of them would uh, register weight on their own. Their mother had their tail nipped um, by another female during the, the breeding season. and. Um, that caused her following clutches to be pretty small. These guys were without a doubt the smallest ones that I had, um, you know, all year and all last year out of all my babies. Um, they were both hatched May 15th and 16th. So it's about two months now, and he's, what was that, 14 grams? So he's 14 times the size that he was when he hatched out. Sorry, buddy. 15. So 14 to 15 times the size that um of when he was hatched and uh, only two months old. This is the bigger of the two. The other one's definitely smaller. This is the one um I've talked about it quite a few times on Facebook. It'll actually eat small superworms. I don't give them too many, but uh, it's more or less a treat. Something just to stimulate them a little bit. This is the sibling to that striped male. This one's probably going to turn out really cool also. Pretty bright tangerine showing on the legs. It looks like something's going to come in on the head also. It's weighing in at 7 grams. So uh, most likely same deal with this one also. About another month before it's ready to go out. And all these babies um, are all possible head eclipses. It'll be 66% um, possible heads. This thing is really jumpy right now. These two are about um, just over two weeks old now. This one is uh, showing a little bit of extra eye pigment. I don't know if it's going to hold. Um, it does have the white feet and the white nose also. So um, there's a very good chance it could be a radar, but um, definitely very little eye pigment. And this one's also got some nice tangerine influence, but um, it's not going to sit still for long, so I'm just going to put it back. This little thing is by far the coolest thing I've produced all year. It um, does have some stuck shed down the bottom. I got uh, all the toes are clear, the eyes and face, but um, about midway down, some of it uh, busted up and it just wouldn't come off. I'm going to keep working with it, but because it's um, pretty much clear and everywhere that really matters, I don't want to um, 
harass it too much. It is only a couple weeks old, so I want to make sure it eats and hopefully um, next time around it sheds clean. It does appear to have <clears throat> a faint purple stripe, but um, a lot of that's just the shed that won't come off. This thing was born almost completely purple. I really wish it would sit still. But, um, it, it almost immediately changed. Uh, I guess when I got some fresh air, some of the colors started to show. But, um, this thing should be really cool. Uh, I'm very curious to see how it turns out. I don't want to uh, do a video without showing this thing off. This is hands down um, my favorite gecko I ever actually purchased. This thing came from um, Razor Sharp Reptiles. It's a uh, Max No Bell possible head eclipse. As you can see, it's got a totally different build to it. The head is a different shape. Definitely a lot shorter. <clears throat> kind of gives them a cuter look, in my opinion. That um, pale yellow is starting to really brighten up. And it's definitely got a lot of um, contrast to it. Nice lavender purple. It's totally different from everything else I have, and I'm very excited to work with it. So once again, hit me up on uh, Facebook if you guys see anything you like. Um, a lot of those new younger ones are available, and um, I, I keep a lot of pictures on there. I'm always updating everything, so um, definitely hit me up on the Morph Magic page. And then, like I said, this is a uh, from razor sharp reptiles and most of my other babies or most of my other bells my original breeders came from luxurious leopards